Holy shit, we made it. Let's party, bitches. My God, 2020 has finally come to an end. This dumpster fire of a year has just done nothing but ruin everything. Jobs, sports, my personal hygiene, just nothing has gone well in this 2020 year. So it is finally time to ring the bell. Let's move on. Make your New Year's resolutions just so we can forget them two weeks after we make them. And let's just drink to celebrate that we did it together on this cocktail adventure. Cheers. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is make a few champagne kick-ass cocktails. So come New Year's Eve, you're gonna have something awesome to sit back and go, hey, thanks 2020, peace out. Let's do this. Cocktail number one. You're simply gonna open up your champagne and you're just gonna take a big old swig. Oh yeah, because you needed that. We all needed that. Cocktail number two, we're going with the midnight kiss because New Year's Eve, you kiss at midnight. I think I'm probably gonna kiss my wife. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with an ounce of vodka here. It says Smirnoff, but what do they know? One ounce. Next, we're gonna go with a fourth of an ounce of blue curacao. That was definitely not a fourth of an ounce. So I won't put the whole thing in. Oh, but I need it now. Hmm. Dilemmas. Dilemma averted. All right. And the last one, we're gonna go half an ounce of our freshly squeezed lemon juice. There we go. And there we go. Find our topper. Let's give her a shake. Of course, everything's gonna go in a champagne flute because that's what fancy ass people do. I think I drink out of a solo cup all up until, I still drink out of, I don't know why I lied to you guys, I still drink out of solo cups. And we're gonna pour that in. What? There's not that much in there because we're gonna top it with a little bit of bubbly. However much champagne your little heart desires or until it overflows. Oh, perfect pour, don't do it. Ah. Well. You win some, you lose some. Or in 2020, you all lose, so. Except for the guy who invented Zoom. I think that guy won. Probably. Good for you, guy. All right, so there we have our midnight kiss. It's good, it's fruity. A little bit of uh, sourness from the lemon. I like it. It's a little dry, but. I'll drink this. Moving on. So cocktail number three has probably got the most boring name of the cocktails that I'm creating. It's just called the classic champagne cocktail. I don't, I don't know how you're supposed to drink champagne. I don't drink a lot of it. So, but it just calls for one sugar cube. So we're gonna drop that in. Some dashes of Angostura bitters. Oh man, I almost broke my thing there. We'll go with three, two and a half. I don't know, it smells good. And now we're just gonna pop it off with bubbly. Oh, I did it. Should I have crushed the sugar cube? Maybe. What am I supposed to drink that like a horse? I don't know. There we go. There's our classic champagne cocktail. It's dissolving in there, it kind of looks cool. The sugar cube is making it constantly bubble. It's got the Angostura bitter uh, flavor on it. It's just kind of bubbling up to the top. That's actually really good. I'm, I can understand why that's a classic. Wow, you learn a thing or two every once in a while. The classic champagne cocktail. Last champagne cocktail for you guys is going to be the poinsettia. Poin, poin shit, I'm gonna get so much shit from this from Rob. Uh, poin, poin set, there's an IA at the back of it. I don't know if it's point shit, point, point. It's the poinsettia, screw it. So we're going with three fourths of an ounce of our triple sec here. This one's gonna be nice and tasty, I can already tell. Three fourths of an ounce. And now we're gonna go ahead and pour our champagne in. 
Very cautious he is. There we go. And we're just gonna do a splash of cranberry juice on top. It floated at the bottom, didn't really stay on top, but you guys get it. Actually, let's just screw it. Let's just give it a little more, let's make it a little pink. There we go. And there we have our poinsettia. That's good. You get It's a little dry because of the cranberry and the champagne. If you like uh, dry cocktails, though, this one, really good, really good flavor, good taste. That kind of all, I mean, champagne tastes like champagne, but no, I like that one. That one's good. I really hope you guys enjoyed these champagne cocktails. And once more, I hope you guys are looking forward to the 2021 year and hopefully getting back some normality because this has just been a friggin' words can't even describe what it's been. You guys get it. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe if you will, and go ahead and comment as much as you want. Tell me which one of these champagne cocktails you're into. If you don't like champagne, what's your favorite New Year's cocktail? I'd love to see it. I hope you guys have a great New Year. I love you all. You're lovely.